No! Hey there, Saints and Sinners, it's Mosk, you're bringing you another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Has Been Hotel Season 1, Episode 6. Welcome to heaven. Before we get stuck in, I I took a little bit of time between the last episode of recording and this one, right? I, I, I It's on the same day, but it's maybe like been half an hour or something in between. And I was thinking to myself... Like, how did Charlie and her relationship with her father fall apart? Because he seems like a very loving, caring father. And he was around when she was younger, so how did they grow distant? Like, I would really like that gap filled, because that for me was one of the main things that was missing in the last episode, was like, why? Why the distance between the two of them? What happened between them? Why has she got daddy issues? Why is he not really around and in her life when it's very clear that he absolutely adores her? Was there some kind of misunderstanding? Like, I was just like that. That I feel like my gap, there's a gap there for me. Either way, welcome to heaven. I am excited to see what heaven is all about, what their deal is, if they are as dickish as Adam, if they know what Adam and the other angels are going to be doing, like culling the whole of hell, and I am finally excited to get my answers about if Vaggy is an angel, a fallen angel or not. Like, because I genuinely think she's one of the, like, exterminating angels of some kind. Like, there's some relation there. There is something. Before we get stuck in though, usual YouTube shite, thumbs up video, click subscribe to come along and join me on this journey. If you want access to the full, raw, early and uncut version of all these reactions, you can click the link in the video description down below. It will take you to my Patreon, where I'm also doing a Harley Quinn exclusive reaction series. Oh, but that's enough fanning around. So here it is. And we're going to click play. Let's fucking go. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I have my warm weather clothes and my- Pride! She has a little pride sticker! With the rainbows and shit! Oh, Is that why Vaggy got cast out of heaven? Is it because she's gay? Imagine if that was what it was. If that was her big sin. The thing. With the thing. Um, fuck. God, I'm such a bad liar. Vaggy, you're my partner. I need you there with me. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, but you're not asking why she doesn't want to go, Charlie, right? That's one thing that I will admit, right? In a lot of TV shows and relationships and movie relationships, like especially animated stuff, it tends to be very one-sided. It tends to be one person fully supporting the other, their dreams, their goals, their ambition, whilst that character never ever asks the other character anything about themselves. Case in point, Astrid and Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. I am sorry if you ship those two. I have never particularly shipped them. Name me one time he asks her any question about who she is, who her parents are, what her expectations are, what her dreams are, what her goals, what her ambit- No, nothing. We only get that in the first movie and it was the best fucking movie for that reason. That and several other reasons. Anyway, just like Charlie, ask your girlfriend a question, please. Like, ask her something about herself. I want to know. Even if you don't care about her, I want to know about her. I need to know. Oh, little dick bag. Ugh. What a shame. What the fuck is with that wall? What up, huh? No! <laughs> Holy shit, cherry bomb? Long time no see. Hi! Baby. Angie, you bitch. You've been texting me a depressing sh- they gave her an Aussie accent, they gave her the second best accent in the world, yes! That's gonna make me love her even more. Yay. Hi, 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 Okay. Shit all day, figured we could test shit up like all Oh my god, I love her! <laughs> he said, why did they have to make her Australian? That's just gonna make me love her even more! Ugh, I only say second best accent in the world because the first is Dublin Irish. He never brings anyone around. <laughs> wonder why. <laughs> Charlie, you poor naive little nugget. Oh, okay. Night of fun and relaxation. Wait, I am only here for end. Ooh, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only here for Angie. Yeah, that was it. It was all it took for the money. Okay. Go. Make sure they have the best. Tonight, my arch nemesis. Oh God! Have you come to meet your fate in battle, Cherry Bomb. No. Apparently, I'm going out with Angel, and I gotta drag your sorry asses along. Oh, oh, what? 
What do I do? What what do I wear? Don't fucking touch me, Amanda Dickhead. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Did he just blush at her? He did. She grabbed his hand and then he blushed. Oh, is that why he's always like, is, this, is that his way of flirting? Is he okay? Okay. Okay, so let's find out about heaven then. I do like the colours. I do like the colour palette of Heaven more than Hell. No offence, Hell. I've never been big on like the deep reds and the blacks and things. I do like pastel colours. Which is why she is quickly becoming one of my favourite shows, artistically speaking. For cool. Heaven. Wow. Yeah, she's not. Hiya! Welcome to Heaven! Can I get your name, please? We're, we're here for a meeting. St. Peter. Oh, cool! Wait, wait, wait! So there's all the eye imagery. Interesting, and then they transform. Fascinating. All oh, right. Okay. Greetings, daughter of the morning star. I am Sarah. The oh, his little one looks so excited. Why does she look a little bit like Char like Charlie actually in the in the eyes? I think it's the Hi, eyes. Sarah from heaven. You're gifted to be here. Hi, I'm Emily. Oh. So you can call me M. Ooh. Okay. And everyone is hot. That was what one of the angels says. Oh, ugly people, didn't he? He said that. He was like, oh, ugly people? Fascinating. Okay. Vaggy's not into this at all. Oh, <laughs> look at Vaggy's face! <laughs> oh no! A little bit of an insecurity, jealousy thing happening, maybe? Vaggy? Maybe? Oh, there's Adam. Oh, that's what she looks like under the mask? Okay, so what? Why does her face look. Do they wear like masks or something or disguises when they go down to purge? Did not expect that, okay. You want to start a fight on the promenade in front of everyone? True. Better than waiting for the fucking extermination. Shh. Sir, what was the Seraphim's one rule? Uh, no one but the exorcist can know about the exterminations. I... Oh, no one but the exorcists can know. So the rest of heaven have no idea that that's even happening? Oh, Elijah, you're right. My girl's so smart. Anybody that's worked in a corporate world will know this. The people at the top, the big, big, big bosses never know when there's issues. They never know when there's issues because the managers below them keep telling them everything's rosies, everything's great, blow smoke up your arse. Whereas at the bottom of the food chain, everybody's fucking struggling. Yeah, okay. I know. never would have agreed to your yearly activities I thought it would bring trouble to our doorstep. Oh, so you agreed to the yearly activities, okay. The other Seraphine though, M, seems a delightful little Charlie clone almost, and I think that she'd have something to say about it. I don't think she'd be on board. I'm not looking for the blonde babe, I'm looking for you. Why? Maybe because you left the band. You tried for a song. I love the rocky guitar notes and stuff whenever he moves or do, does something. Like, it, as much as I hate Adam, I, I, his character design, his, like, voice acting, like, everything about him is fucking glorious. Like, ugh, just his character sucks, you know? Or I guess it's more of a duet. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Do you really think I wouldn't recognize one of my top girls just because you're at a uniform? You are on the front lines. Yes! Fuck, we got it right! We were right! We fucking we were right! We fucking knew! We said, oh god, ow, that hurt. We fucking knew, we said, we said, we were right! What happened then? How? Why? You couldn't kill a child? Oh. Oh, that was it for letting a child go? For letting a child go? Seriously? I think someone as worthless as you landed Lilith's little hottie. Grats on that, I guess. Their love is vile and black. We got their backs! 
story for letting a child go? What is a fucking child doing in hell anyway? I know that children can do vile things, right? They can, for Americans, they can go and shoot a bunch of other kids in a school. But nine times out of ten, it's because of their parents. Those ideas don't just spawn out of nowhere. That gun isn't just putting that kid's hand out of nowhere. Kids shouldn't have been in hell. Ever. Never ever. No wonder. Mind you, I think they can breed and stuff though, can't they? So, I don't know how all that works. I need to think about the logistics of that, but yeah. Wow, we finally got the answers! Aww. Their love is not all vile and blasphemous. It's like a play on the fact that they're gay. Their love is vile and blasphemous. Yeah, I've heard that before, bitch. Yep. I've heard that before. Do you know what? Me and my girl, we don't give a shit. <laughs> we really, really don't give a shit. Do you know what? We'll be vile and blasphemous as many times as we want together. <laughs> I'd rather be in hell anyway. Hot as fuck though. But I wonder See? The double fucking standards of that. Like, he's like, yeah, the idea that, like, two girls been together is hot as fuck. Yeah, okay, you know what I mean? Like, it's that's exactly the hypocrisy that we deal with. Mm, mm. What your bitch would think if she found out you are actually one of us. Hmm. She wouldn't what care. What do you want? Charlie would probably know all this already if she asked her a fucking question about herself on the occasion. Sorry. <laughs> It just annoys me, it's always in animation. It's so one-sided. Charlie's whole thing is redemption. That's what she built the hotel around. You know, if she believes that every other sinner that's mass murdered and everything deserves a second chance, then why not you? You know, like you did all those things, but you don't do them anymore. You've not done, you let the child demon go. And that's what got you cast out. If you opened up to Charlie and expressed all this, like she'd be fine. She would be fine with it. <laughs> Well, if you know so much, what do you think it takes to get into heaven? Um, w well, uh, ah. is everything okay, Adam? Give me a fucking minute, okay? <laughs> I have no idea. Act selfless, don't steal, stick it to the man. Are you fucking serious? Uh, yeah, sure got me here, didn't it? <laughs> right, Sarah? He was the first human soul in heaven. Well, I bet Angel is doing all of those things right now. Then let's fucking see it, bruh. Oh no, 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 he's gonna be with Cherry Bomb and they're gonna be exploding things and drinking and pole dancing and... Charlie, you could have just left him at the hotel. I don't want to see this. I don't want to click play. May I present Exhibit A? Oh, is it... Take one of these and you won't no. be worrying about nothing. Oh, oh no. Oh, look, the drunk sobered up long enough to judge us. Oh. Are you the one trying to get into heaven? Look, you want to fuck up all your progress? Be my guest. I just. I just thought you were better than that. Thanks, Captain Buzzkill. Wow. Come on, Angie, let's get fucked oh, up. Oh, this is going to be interesting then. Is he actually going to do it? This is the real test. This is actually a test. Not just. Because Heaven is watching, he doesn't know that. But like he's stuck between a rock and a hard place because he's got peer pressure from one of his besties who he does love. We saw that in the pilot and the two of them have been through a lot together, especially with relation to Val. And she probably thinks that she's doing him a favour right now. Like he's he's had a hell of a day with Val and, and she's probably thought, well, this always cheers him up. This always makes him better. Come on, bitch. If you've really been working that hard, you deserve a little R&R. &R. In some THC or maybe PCP with DMT. They're bitches. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Do you know why? Because Cherry's me. No. With that accent, no. Oh, fuck it. Let's see where the night takes us, huh? Oh, yeah. Keep on coming. I mean, it does just look like a regular night out with friends. <laughs> she can handle. Oh. See, he's gonna look after her. Look, she ain't used to this scene. I, I just don't want her to end up in the gutter like I used to. Oh, Angel! Oh, 
he cares. Oh, I love this little spider boy. I will admit, I would have liked to have seen Cherry Bomb be a little bit more supportive of his decisions. Okay. He's trying so hard! Angel! What the fuck is this? <laughs> I want to play with a kitty! <laughs> I didn't think you meant husk! I thought you meant like Kiki or something! Oh my god, that's great. That's actually glorious. I'm sorry, why will we have sex? Ah, ah, um... Because I'm having sex with everyone here! <sighs> Serpentious! This, like, C plot of Serpentious coming onto Cherry Bomb is painful. And it's painful not in the ways that I thought it would be, because actually I quite like Serpentious as a character now. And I'm like, bro, it's not gonna happen. Like, I don't want you to get hurt with rejection and just leave Cherry alone, because she's clearly not interested. Like, I, I like them both. Just no, not together. <laughs> I was working on yourself, you little bitch. Oh, she's playing with his wing. No, look at the two dads are just taking care of their kid. Well, isn't a problem in his life. It's uh, Valentino. Exactly. No, so Valentino. You know? Valentino. Yeah, I'm here all the time. They know me. Oh, fuck. Yeah, a star. Where's One Nippy? Star. Okay. Where is she? No, 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 no. No! 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 Oh, these shows are gonna be the death of me, mate! Fucking children are always up here! Excuse me, and I don't know. Get out of my way. Holy shit, no. Son, but you ain't fucking with any of my friends. You forget oh. who you're talking to. I own you, bitch. <clears throat> yeah, you do. In the studio. Because I'm going to enjoy making you pay for it tomorrow. Dang it. Oh. Huss got defensive there too. Look at him. And obviously, Cherry Bomb already knows that Valentino's an absolute fucking asshole. Angel, he just totally stood up for her there. Like, surely this should be proof enough to heaven. He's done so much already. Like, all his little decisions, obviously not really taking drinks and stuff, but like everything else, like trying to go after Nifty, trying to protect Nifty, trying to like... Dickhead. Fuck it. It was worth it. No. Oh, way to go, kid! Oh, oh no, nifty. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> For my collection. <laughs> Did you just call these cunts your friends? Well, that was my job. There's oh. room for everyone. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie keep a cool head. No, don't you care, Sarah? Ooh. That's just because someone is. Oh, look at him grinning with Husk. Husk was so proud of him. Oh, I love them so much. All of these characters have my heart and I hate it. I will admit, right, as much as ugh, I hate these two, I do love the fact that while well, she's singing in the background, Adam's got her back. He's an asshole and he's a misogynistic prick, but it's quite funny that, like, in the background, he's got the... He's just... It's funny. Exterminate you, is he about to sing? He just admitted it! That felt good. You know like when you've got an itch that you need scratched and you just can't quite reach it and then you get an item or somebody else like manages to get the scratch just feels... <sighs> that was a scratch I couldn't itch by myself. And then Adam came along, in it, foot. That's exactly what you just did Adam, love it. Heaven must be alive. If angels can do whatever and remain in the sky, 
Yes! 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 And I love the callback to that episode one song! It's so fucking good! Please. What's the fuss? Why hide the fact that you're an angel just like us? Ooh. That was a way to get the reveal. Finds that there is no evidence souls in hell can be redeemed. Oh, what the fuck? fuck yes. What the I win. fuck? Suck it, bitches. You better save the day. What do you mean? What do you mean? What are you talking about? That there's you just saw the evidence right in front of you. What the hell? You're never gonna win. You're never gonna be good enough, are you? No matter what you do, you're just never gonna be good enough. We're coming to your hotel first. to be doing this they were uprising emily it is my position as the head seraphim to protect our people at all costs if you start to question you could end up like lucifer falling i couldn't bear to see you suffer that fate oh. so please let me worry about this okay mm. oh. so that's what she's worried about she's worried about i'm guessing this is like her daughter it must be right i mean that is valid like i get that like, most of these characters are just in situations where it's like, oh, what can you do? Oh, I can't wait to see where it goes now. She's gonna go to hell, isn't she? Oh, she's gonna go to hell and appear and... Oh, but what does that mean for Charlie and Vaggie? I think Charlie's gonna be more upset that Vaggie never told her, but she never asked. Doesn't look like she's asked Charlie uh, Vaggie much of anything about herself. You know, and she had plenty of opportunity. There was times where, like, Vaggy was doing the military operation training thing and Charlie didn't ask her, like, why or where that came from or anything. Like, she's never asked her any questions about herself ever. So I hope Charlie, I hope Vaggy pushes back on that, actually, if Charlie says, why didn't you tell me? And she could just be like, well, you never asked. Such an amazing episode. But also, I'm just like, <sighs> my heart. I mean, once again, we're seeing that Heaven doesn't care. Now she's gonna. Now she's thinking that they're gonna come to the hotel first. Which, to be honest, even although he was like, "Oh, I was just kidding," but I wouldn't put it past him. I genuinely, after all the fuss that Charlie's been causing around this, I would not put it past Adam and Luke to go to the hotel first. But if Charlie's at risk, Lucifer's gonna rise up, and I feel like Lilith. We're gonna find out where Lilith has been. And if it's true then that that one demon overlord, whose name I've already forgotten because she was in like one episode, but the one that supplies guns, she was the one that killed the angel. If she killed because she was trying to protect her daughters, if Lucifer and Charlie are like, if they go radio, if everybody in the hotel goes radio trying to protect each other, then that means that they can kill the angels too. And then it's just going to become all out war. Fuck. Hey, we've just got two episodes left, guys. Two episodes left. Whew. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Where do you think this is going to go? What do you think they're going to do for these final two episodes? I know we've got all of season two. <sighs> anyway, I really fucking enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did as well. Don't forget to thumbs up and you'll click subscribe to join me on this journey. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want access to the full 47 minute long version of this reaction, you can click the link in the video description down below. It will take you to my Patreon. But that is all I've got time for. I will see you next time with another video. And until then, haste you back, guys.